Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest is a professional mixed martial arts bout scheduled for three five minute rounds at a catch weight of 175 pounds. This bout is proudly sponsored by Humble Healings of Haverhill, Massachusetts. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin McDonald. Introducing, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the multicolored shorts and entering the cage with a record of two victories and only one defeat. Coming to us from Ithaca, New York, please welcome Irmus Guyton. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner to my right, wearing the solid black shorts, and tonight making his professional debut, representing Black Hole BJJ, please welcome Malis the Turkman Hammer, Chario. All right, here we go. Round one of our professional MMA bout here. All right, both fighters moving slowly out to the center ring, trying to uh, check out their, oh, there we go. Irmus going in there for a nice kick to start things off. Yep. Trying to weaken the legs, always a good strategy. Yep. Yeah, Irmus, you know, you, those, those leg kicks early on will pay off later in the fight. Um, you know, you gotta take away some of that mobility, um, you know, make, make your opponent more stationary, uh, easier to hit. Oh, Malis going in for some nice kicks. Both fighters yep. keeping their guards down low. Mm -hmm. Armis landing that leg kick again. Melis has not been able to, oh. That was a little bit of a slip right there, going for the kick. Armis went down. Oh, now they're locked up against the cage. Armis looking for those underhooks. That's gonna help him uh, move out of the cage and move back to the center. Uh, nice little check, chest kick by Malis. Oh, oh right. nice overhand by Goyton right there, right to the head. Oh, oh that's not what you want. Got to be careful telegraphing those kicks or putting them in slow. Oh, but back to the feet. Oh, nice body lock into the trip. He's got him up against the cage here. Let's see uh, what we can look to do to keep him down. A couple of little mistakes have kind of put them yep. where they are right now. Going for that slow kick, Armas went up there. Another trip. But Armas back to the feet again. Oh, nice shot landed on the inside on the break there. Armis. They both landed some really good punches and kicks so far. Uh, kind of hard to see where this round's going to go. Yeah, Malis looks like he had some good success early, uh, later in the round there with the takedowns, uh, but unable to hold Armis down. Um, you know, we'll see how that uh, you know affects his confidence going into the second round here. Both fighters slowing down a little bit right now, trying to pick and choose their shots. They came out, you know, a little bit on fire, and as soon as I open my mouth, they attack each other again. Yep. Back up against the fence they go. Hey, hey. Mela's looking to, to, to pin Armis against the fence there, but, uh, you know, Armis is just doing a really good job at digging those underhooks. Mela's here finding some success with the leg kicks. Nice little shot. Oh, careful with those spinning moves. Yep. If you don't connect with that, that could go really wrong turning your back. Oh, 
That's got to, you know, his, his front leg's got to be a little weak. He's taken a lot of shots to it already. Yeah, oh, yeah, these, these leg kicks are starting to add up. And, I mean, you can see it in, in Malis's movement. You know, he's a little more stationary uh, than when, you know, we, we first came out of the round here. Ooh, each guy's trading leg kicks. Very heavy shots. Going for the Ooh, spinning sure. back fist. Did not connect. Armas took uh, advantage of that and grabbed right a hold of him. Malis doing a really good job at, uh, you know, breaking the, the, the lock on the wrists. Big shots landed. Those overhands from Amish are connected pretty good. 10 seconds to go. Oh! oh, kick to the head while he was down. That's how you keep your eyes on things, taking advantage of when you have a spot, and then he lost it and gave up his back. All right, that's gonna do it for round one. So that's this is kind of a tough one. Um, they each had some good advantages. Who do you think took that round? Yeah, I mean, it was a, a very competitive round. I think we got to give the edge to Armas. I mean, those leg kicks were just landing so heavy, really taking away the movement. But, uh, you know, Malis, he, he was able to, um, you know, throw in some takedowns there. But uh, I think the difference is was he just wasn't able to, um, you know, establish the position and hold him down. Right. Yeah, I think Armas definitely got the advantage because even uh, ab ab above and beyond the leg kicks, a couple of those uh, overhand punches he had connected really hard. Armas standing up in his corner, still looks uh, like he's got some wind. Yep. Uh, Mela's sitting over there, open mouth breathing, looks a little tired, a little worn out. It'll be interesting to see how the second match, second round comes out, if they come out fighting, or if they come out taking their time, choosing their shots. Yep. All right, here we go, the gate is locked. Kevin McDonald, center ring. Center cage. All right, here we go. Second round. Got a little slower to the start coming out. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, with that first round, I mean, both guys were throwing every shot with, you know, the nastiest of, of intention. And I think uh, going to the second round, if they, if they don't feel like they can get the finish, they're going to have to, you know, pace themselves. Which they definitely should because, uh, you know, if this thing goes the distance, that's a, they got a long time left to dance. Yeah, I mean, I, you can hear Amish's um, corner, you know, leg kick, leg kick. I mean, yep. why wouldn't he keep going and try to keep, yeah. Yep. If he keeps going to that front leg, eventually it's going to be weak and give up. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, let's see, um, you know, maybe, you know, Armas as he land, starts to, you know, pile up these low kicks, you know, we'll see if he goes to switch it up and, um, you know, throw up high. I think Malis heard you because he went for a high kick. <laughs> yep. I mean, what separates, uh, you know, the, the, the best pro fighters here is who can make the adjustments. You know, you felt each other out in the first round, but who is going to make the adjustments, um, you know, better going into the second round to get the win? Absolutely. Both corners calling out for the head kick. Well, they both got the skills to do it. You can see the flexibility. Both have really good kicking power. Yep. Uh, they just need to connect it once because obviously, I mean, they really haven't done any groundwork. They've done a few things up against the cage, but this is going to be a stand up battle to the end, so they got to start doing more than just weakening the legs. Yep. It'd be interesting to see if uh, Malis, you know, he had some success with the takedown in the first round. You know, as Armas maybe slows down as the match goes on, will he look to go back, go back to the grappling, or has the damage of the legs just, uh, you, know, you know, made that too difficult? You can see how uh, how red the front of Bayless's leg is from all the kicks he's taking.
And there he goes with the body lock, trying to push him against the cage. Gets the trip. Can he hold him down this time? Armist doing a great job at just, you know, exploding out. Very powerful hips. He's getting back to the feet. Yeah, he's not letting him take him down or control him at all. Yeah. Wow, Mayo's leaving himself wide open right there. Oh. I don't know why he wasn't putting his hands up, but he was just kind of ducking away, leaving himself wide open. Wow, Armas connects the hands under the butt, gets the takedown, moves to full mount. Huge shots landed here. Ref might jump in. Mayo still seems to be blocking himself a little bit. He's still defending. He's trying to roll oh, over. Nope. time three minutes and 21 seconds of round number two referee Kevin McDonald stops this contest your winner by TKO victory in the blue corner Irmas Gaitan